What's better for depression, antidepressants or psychedelics? Today, we're gonna to be going over the five most important ways these two interventions differ from each other so you can decide what's best. The most important thing that you need to understand about these two interventions is how they work because they work in fundamentally different ways. So let's start with antidepressants. The main way these drugs work is by inducing a drug effect. Generally, this is one of blunting, but they can also help with sleep and sometimes they can be energizing. In order to get this drug effect, you take the drug on a daily basis. This is very different to the psychedelics like psilocybin or MDMA. Now these drugs work by changing your perspective on your problems. So when someone takes psychedelics in a medical context, what they're usually doing is seeing a therapist who will help them find a distinct problem they're suffering with. They will take the psychedelic in a therapy session. The therapist will use the psychedelic effect to help them gain a new perspective on their life problems. And then they will meet with them afterwards to help them integrate those insights into their life. Now you may have noticed this is a fundamentally different approach because the medications are masking symptoms, whereas the psychedelics are used to improve therapy. Think about the psychedelics as being therapy on steroids. And because the psychedelics are used in this way, you don't take them on a daily basis like the antidepressants. You might take them once and be able to solve a problem, or you may just take them periodically throughout the year, every three to six months. Now, the next thing you're gonna to wanna to know is how effective are these two interventions? And recently we had a study published in one of the Lancet journals by David Arizzo and colleagues. And what they did was compared a group of patients who got Lexapro to those who got psilocybin. And this was in a randomized controlled trial that lasted six weeks, but then had six months of follow-up data. And what they found was this. They found that both the antidepressant and psilocybin were able to decrease the level of depression. But interestingly, what they found was that psilocybin had effects that the antidepressant didn't have. In fact, psilocybin compared to Lexapro improved patients' sense of meaning on average, their functioning in work and social settings, and on top of that, their feeling of connectedness to the world and others. And it's for these additional benefits that researchers have become so passionate about this intervention. Now, the next area you're gonna to wanna to know about is side effects. So starting with the antidepressants. In general, the antidepressants will cause weight gain, sexual dysfunction, withdrawal, if you don't come off the medication slowly, tolerance, now that means most people who get on these medications, they wear off over time and you need to take higher and higher doses to maintain the drug effect. And there are a couple rare but important side effects you need to be aware of, particularly PSSD. This is when some people who get started on these medications develop sexual dysfunction that does not go away when they come off the medications. On top of that, some people, when they come off these medications too quickly, they develop a condition called protracted withdrawal, which is like a concussion, which can take a couple of years really to go away. Now, moving on to the psychedelics like psilocybin and MDMA, the main thing is that many people can have, quote unquote, a bad trip. That is, when they are having that experience, they can get into a state of panic. Now, this isn't everyone. In fact, many people actually enjoy the state of being on these medications, but some people may not. Now, other rare side effects that can occur with these medications is something called mania or hypomania. This is a state of psychosis and disinhibition, but it is very rare. And finally, some patients can go on to develop something called hallucination persistent perceptual disorder, which is when you experience visual hallucinations after this experience with the drug has finished. Now, I know that sounds very scary because let's face it, it is, but to my knowledge, this has never been reported in clinical trials where they use normal psychedelic doses of the drug. And all the case reports that I've been able to find were from people using them recreationally at unknown doses. So potentially this might be a bigger issue for people taking much larger doses of psychedelics than those used in clinical settings. The next thing you wanna be aware of is the convenience factor. So with the antidepressants, you have to take the medication daily. If you start to miss doses, you go into withdrawal and you can have mood instability. And it's for this reason, they can be a real hassle for people who are traveling and going overseas. Because if you lose these medications, you have to drop everything and go and find them. Coming over to the psychedelics, uh, in terms of convenience, I would say this is a time intensive intervention. You need to go and meet with a therapist, find out the problem that you're having, go to the center, spend five hours there doing your experience, and then work with therapists after you leave to integrate the problems. This is a very hands-on approach to improve areas in your life. Unlike these medications, which are often given out with any kind of psychotherapy, and it's just a passive intervention, 
to help you. And finally, let's talk about cost and access issues. Uh, with antidepressants, these are super cheap. You can get a 30 day of Lexapro or Prozac for less than $10. And on top of that, doctors give them out like candy. You can go to online pharmacies and get them sent to you without even seeing anyone. And that's very different to the experience with psychedelics, but there's only a few places where you can get this treatment. Currently in the United States, the only places where you can go and do psilocybin assisted therapy is Colorado and Oregon. And that's because these states have decriminalized it there. And the state government has licensed certain centers to be able to do this. Now, when you go and do this at a center, from my research online, it can cost anywhere from three to $5,000 to have this experience. And on top of that, if you don't live in one of these states, you are going to have to pay for travel to get there. Now, before we wrap, I wanna tell you the number one biggest mistake that people make when preparing for psychedelic therapy. That is that they suddenly stop their antidepressant because they would prefer to just do psychedelic therapy. So that's it for today. But if you are interested in learning about how one of these rare side effects to psychedelics ended up leading to a young woman getting locked in a psychiatric hospital, you are not gonna to wanna to miss this eye-opening interview.